Hi, in this video, we are going to give you an understanding of the custom pricing box and also take you through how to set up auto switch of duty types based on kilometers or time of a duty. You can find the custom pricing box in the customer or supplier master. Let's look at customers for now, knowing that the same can be replicated for any supplier as well. First, let's get acquainted with, with the custom pricing box. Right at the top, you can set an applicable date range for the pricing you are about to enter. Below that is a drop-down box with a list of all the vehicle groups you have created. If you have different pricing for each city, you can select the city from this list and enter the pricing accordingly. If you have the same pricing for all cities, then you can enter them under All. You will find that each of the duty types you have created are visible as rows in this table. The first column is base rate. Here, enter the base rate of the duty type for the vehicle group you have selected. Please note that for outstation of day KM duties, you need to enter the rate as total number of kilometers into cost per kilometer equals to base rate. The next two columns are to be used to enter the rate of extra per kilometer or per hour. This concludes the basic understanding of how to use the pricing box. All the rates of different duty types can be entered in the same way. The next section of this video is understanding auto switch. What is auto switch? Auto switch is a functionality where Indicap auto selects the duty type to be considered on the invoice when a duty is completed based on the kilometers or time of the duty. The aim of creating this functionality is to remove the need for human intervention in the duty type selection process by programmatically selecting a duty type upon duty completion. Let's look at how to set up auto switch. There are three columns. First, a column where you enter the number of kilometers after which you would like the duty type to switch to the next duty type. The second column is here, enter the total time after which the duty type would switch to the next duty type. The third column allows you to create auto switch paths, which identify which duty type the system must choose based on the completed duty kilometers or time. You can set up up to three different auto switch groups for the same customer. Let's try creating two auto switch paths. One where the duty type base changes based on kilometers of the duty and the other based on time. For example, if you would like the duty to change from 100 kilometers per day to 250 kilometers per day automatically when the total number of kilometers of the duty crosses 150, then enter 150 here. Select the auto switch group as KM, then close the switch path by entering the total number of kilometers after which extras would be calculated like this. In the same way, let's look at an example for auto switching duty types based on time. For example, here we would like to switch from a duty type of 1 hour 10 kilometers to 2 hour 20 kilometers after the duty time crosses 1 hour 30 minutes. In this case, you enter 1 hour 30 minutes in this column. Select the auto switch group as time and close the group. By entering the time as 2 hours here as well and selecting the same auto switch path. Now that we have got your auto switch group set up, duties close both manually as well as using the Indicap Go driver app would automatically select the applicable duty type. We recommend you try out a few test duties before using this functionality with the rest of your customers. Hope this drives you to a step closer to complete business automation. Thank you for your time.